If you've put in an order for an electric car recently, you might just want to cancel it after teasing us for an eternity with a very funky concept version of the Renault 5, they've just unveiled a production version. And it looks very cool. Yep, one of the most loved cars of the 1970s and 80s has returned nearly 30 years after it ceased production, this time in fully electric form. And here are the highlights. Two battery options, up to 250 miles of range, up to 150 horsepower from a single electric motor, and up to 100 kilowatt DC rapid charging. But these aren't even the best bits. Firstly, this car will cost you 25,000 euros. That's really impressive for an electric vehicle. Might make you think twice about getting that Tesla, huh? And secondly, I think we should give Renault a big round of applause for not basically reinventing it as a small SUV. It's called a B-segment hatchback, which means it's pretty much the same size as a Vauxhall Corsa or a Ford Fiesta. The final design looks a lot like the concept, with design cues that channel the original Renault 5. It has chunky, boxy proportions with squared-off headlights and pupil-shaped LEDs that wink at the driver during the welcome sequence, and vertical rear lights, just like its grandfather. Its hot grandfather, specifically, the Renault 5 Turbo. The wheelbase is long and the overhangs are short. And look at the bulging rear arches and the fat side sills and this vent that's actually a sticker but which adds to the illusion that this is a squat, wide car. Everywhere you look, there's a nod to vintage, but with a proper modern twist. Renault has made a few changes in the transition from concept to reality. The car has ordinary door handles rather than pop-outs. The rear door handles are tucked up in the C-pillars and the wheels are smaller, although not too small. Every version gets at least 18-inch alloys. There are loads of colour combos too, and you can pick contrasting roof colours and door stripes. There's also a nod to the vent grille from the 82 Turbo in the form of this. This is the charge indicator and it has this number 5 which actually lights up when the car's charging, which is quite a fun touch. The Renault 5 will come with a range of power outputs, 95, 120 or 150 horsepower. The most powerful of these will deliver 0 to 62 miles an hour in less than 8 seconds, even faster than the legendary GT Turbo hot hatch from the 80s. Top speed is electronically limited to 93 miles an hour. All versions, except for the slowest model, come with bi-directional charging. What that means is not only can you charge from the grid to the battery, but also you can send power from the battery back to the grid, which will help you save money on your electrical bills. You can even plug in your electrical appliances straight into the car. So that includes everything from your electric barbecue to your hair straighteners. So if you're out camping or you have a power cut, you won't be out of luck. The interior is wonderful. Renault reckons it took more inspiration from furniture design than car design. These H-shaped seats are pure Renault 5 Turbo. Look at the chunky bolstering and the cloth, and the dashboard stripes are double-stitched like the fives back in the day. Same thing with the squares on the roof. Loads of it is made from sustainable material too. All the fabrics are 100% recycled, and you'll not find a hint of cow skin in here. This is the E Pop Shifter. It's basically the gear selector and it's designed to look like a lipstick case. But what's more exciting is that it's fully customizable. So, if you fancied, you could completely switch it up and go for a different design. I'm not entirely sure I would ever bother, but it's a fun touch. What I do like are the screens. So every version gets a digital driver display behind the steering wheel, seven inches on the cheaper versions, 10 inches on the more expensive versions. All versions get a 10 inch infotainment system, which has a rather nice pop art style theme to it. And it runs a heap of apps from Google, over 50 in fact. You also get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and a bundle of physical buttons for your climate control. Also, this car is the first car, and must be the only car, to have a dedicated woven wicker basket to the side of the centre console to carry your baguette. How very French. One other thing I'm going to show you is this little fella. His name is Reno, and he is the voice assistant. Well, actually, he's more than that. He's an avatar or a virtual travelling companion, and he can do all sorts of car-specific things, like, Reno, turn on the AC. 
or he can answer the 200 most commonly asked questions to Renault's after sales team, like, how do I change the tire? Mind you, good luck with that because there's actually no spare tire here. Anyway, best of all, he uses chat GPT so he can answer literally anything. The relatively long wheelbase, it's longer than a three-door minis, should mean in theory there's decent rear space. In reality, your legs don't get quite the same treatment as your baguette in a basket does. It's a bit tight in there, especially on the floor. The Renault 5 will be available with two lithium-ion batteries. The biggest, which will be the only one available at market launch, has a capacity of 52 kilowatt hours and a range of up to 250 miles. The smallest has a capacity of 40 kilowatt hours for a range of up to 186 miles. Both use NMC technology for the best energy density on the market today. One area where the Renault 5 could have disappointed is the boot space, but it's actually really practical. 326 litres of usable space. That's more than you get in the Vauxhall Corsa and the Ford Fiesta. Rest in peace. There's no frunk, but actually, you don't need it. The 5 uses a brand new, super modern platform, but it sticks to the fairly standard EV blueprint of layering the battery pack along the floor between the axles. The big battery does mean it's pretty heavy, around 1.5 tonnes, the same sort of weight as an electric Corsa. But the roof is aluminium and the centre of gravity is really low. That bodes well for the handling. And Renault assures us that making this fun to drive, just like the old 5 was, has been a top priority. So, will this new Renault 5 have the same impact as the original version from 1972? It all seems pretty promising, unlike Renault might have a big hit on their hands. Distinctive design, lots of technology, a good amount of space, a load of character and fun, and all for a really good price, all things considered. So, we'll let you know more when we get behind the wheel. Meanwhile, it all looks very positive.